tá no caminho pra ir pra lá. O Patrick tá dirigindo Oi. aqui. Oi, Carlos. Patrick falou oi pra você. Ei. Ah. Bacana. Oh, so it's gonna be like that, is it, Carlos? Nice. What a way to greet your son-in-law. I mean, Patrick hasn't really done anything to deserve this, has he? I just got to Brazil and your dad's already calling me names. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know why your dad is calling me a little bastard. Yeah, perhaps you might like to tell your dad not to say that, Thais. But before we get to all of these broken relationships, Let's just start at the beginning. So the family are off to Brazil for the first time since Thais left two years ago. This is the first time she's returning with a husband, a baby and a dog. And she's coming back to a very disgruntled dad. Remember, he refused to give Patrick his blessing to marry Thais. But they went ahead and got married anyway. So this first trip back to Brazil for Thais is just as much about building bridges with her dad, introducing him to his grandchild, as it is hoping her father might now accept her husband. But at the same time, for as broken as that family dynamic is, there's another broken relationship she also has to navigate. I can't believe John's coming to Brazil. Yeah, I can't really believe it either. John's still coming. Yeah, he's gonna show up a day later. It couldn't be more clear that Thais doesn't want John to join them. Now, of course, Thais and John's relationship has been rocky since day one. But since John's moved out, surely things have improved. Well, <laughs> the big question is, if this trip is about Thais mending her relationship with her dad, then why is John <laughs> even going? I mean, Patrick's got a hundred things on his mind to worry about without having John in his hair too. This is our first international trip as a family, and it's definitely overwhelming. I mean, this is gonna be the first time for us traveling with our baby, our dog. dog. And, you know, I'm still recovering from surgery. Patrick's stressed about things like how much baby formula to take on the plane. How are they going to carry it? But the truth is, he should really be thinking about the bigger things. Like how he's going to fix his broken relationship with Thais' dad. Thais reveals that when they get to Brazil, her dad wants to have a serious talk with the two of them. The way that I left and then I got married and he he was not a part of a, it. A part of it, and then we you didn't ask him for a blessing before. Wait, hold on, Thais. That's a bit rich, isn't it? It was Patrick that insisted you tell your dad in the first place. Thais was more than happy to get married in secret without her dad knowing anything. And let's not forget, even after her dad disapproved, didn't want to give his blessing, it was Patrick that pushed forward. He tried to win his approval again. He explained his love for Thais. And still that wasn't good enough for Carlos. I mean, I, I tried to ask him for a blessing before. He said no. I know, but he wants you to do it in person. Now, Thais wants Patrick to try again with her dad. But Patrick's having difficulty understanding what the point is. He says he'll obviously do it if it means they can finally have her father's approval. But at this point, isn't approval, isn't blessing a bit too late? They're married already. They already have a child. And I do kind of see his point. Aí eu ainda espero que o Patrick chegue para mim pessoalmente e uma nova permissão, né, para poder from the flashback video call, Thais' father thinks that Patrick owes him. But that now kind of makes it feel like this might all now be about Thais' dad's ego. This isn't really about what's polite. Patrick did already ask and the pair are already married. So this kind of feels like a power play by Carlos. He wants Patrick to bend his head and submit to him. And Thais tells her husband that's just what he's got to do. She really doesn't want any lingering animosity, any problems within the family. He's my dad. No. I don't want to have any problems with him. Yeah. <laughs> You made the problems for us. I'm old, don't. And now I gotta fix them. 
Thank you, Patrick. Finally, someone's acknowledging the elephant in the room. This entire situation is because Thais wasn't honest with her dad in the first place. She was the one that told her dad she was going to the States on vacation. She was the one that was planning on getting married in secret, as if that wasn't going to be an issue. But on that topic of issues, as the couple drive to the airport, the topic of John is brought up again. Maybe John could make things a little bit more fun. Especially because we're going to be all worried about our parents and stuff. Uh. That's a no from Thais. She seems genuinely worried about John's attendance. Why? Well, probably because he's not exactly the type of person you want to bring home to your family. He's probably not the best ambassador, the best representation of Patrick's family. But Patrick tries to reassure her that John's not flying all the way to Brazil to cause trouble for them. <laughs> but for some reason, that doesn't seem to comfort or reassure her. I hope that everything will be great in this trip, everyone will get along, but I'm just worried that John will be you know, like a wild card in Brazil. It's a fair concern. I mean, the man is very unpredictable and Thais and Patrick do have a lot riding on this trip. Patrick has a lot of groveling to do, it seems. But for now at least, the couple decide to focus on their flights. And thankfully, it goes very smoothly. And when they both step foot on Brazilian soil, they're both excited and happy to be back. I'm just really. <laughs> I feel amazing. Me too. Feels so good to be back here. Patrick explains that the baby and the dog were both very well behaved on the flight, so it made the journey very easy. However, their happy mood soon turns south. When they jump in their rental car, Patrick insists on driving, although technically it's Thais who's the local here. He may be half Brazilian, his dad may live here, but he's only ever visited on vacation. She grew up here. Surely she's had more experience. Surely she knows the roads and the way of the land, the rules, much better than he does. I think was better I drive. I know everything here. I know every role, every... Okay, well, you could drive later. Is this another ego thing at play? Is Patrick just being the macho man and insisting on driving because it's a masculine thing to do? Or does he really think that he can drive better than Thais, even though she grew up in the country? Well, either way, whatever the truth, Thais isn't afraid of a little backseat driving. And the two of them have a major disagreement about whether or not Patrick needs to stop at the sign. Remember, we have to stop every single thing that says stop. No, well, you don't stop. No, you have to stop. My what dad told me you don't stop. Your dad doesn't know anything. Now, I don't know about you, but stopping at a sign that says stop sounds like the right answer to me. But Patrick insists that his dad knows best, so he continues to drive his own way. You, you have to stop. You have to stop. Come on, I have to stop. You have to stop. So, crossing her fingers and hoping that Patrick won't have an accident, Thais takes the opportunity to check in with her dad, to let him know that they've landed, that they're on their way to their apartment. Tá no caminho pra ir pra lá, Patrick tá dirigindo aqui. Oi, Carlos. Patrick falou oi pra você. Hey. Ah. Bacana. Nothing? Nothing? Thais isn't going to say anything to that? That was so uncalled for from Carlos, and it's setting a pretty bad tone for the trip. Who's the father? Who's the son here? Who's meant to be the elder? Who's throwing their toys out the pram about respect? Now, I understand that maybe Thais doesn't want to confront her dad, but she does also need to draw a line in the sand as to what she'll allow, what he can get away with when it comes to speaking to and treating her husband, the father of her child. I just got to Brazil and your dad's already calling me names. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know why your dad is calling me a little bastard. Thais just sits there wide-eyed saying, I don't know. Like, does she really not know why her dad's acting that way? Or is the truth that she just doesn't know what to do about it? 
Patrick has said numerous times that he doesn't want to be the reason why there's a strain between her and her dad. But Thais was the one that caused it. It was her lies, her hiding Patrick from her dad, that put Patrick in this bad position to begin with. Either way, all of this is a topic for another day, and you better believe it will resurface. But for right now, Thais has to give her dad some disappointing news. É, tome pro apartamento e a gente vai encontrar o senhor só amanhã, tá? O senhor não gostou da hora. O senhor queria ver, queria ver a nenê hoje? So, while her dad may have wanted to see the baby today, Thais says no. She tells her dad she's exhausted, and she says that baby Elise needs to sleep so that she isn't cranky the first time she ever meets her grandfather. And with that, they lock in tomorrow as the day they'll all meet. But the problem is, Patrick doesn't offer Thais the same courtesy. You see, while Thais may be turning her dad away, Patrick is all too happy to invite his dad around. Who is here? Oh, that's my dad. How do you know it's your dad? Because he told me he was coming over. Oi, pie! Oh. Now, it is important to point out that the apartment they're staying in belongs to Patrick's dad. It's an apartment that he rents out, an apartment that Patrick and Thais have stayed in previously. But that doesn't change the fact that Thais rejected meeting up with her dad, while Patrick heard that conversation but didn't think to volunteer the information that his own dad was coming over tonight. It's starting to feel like there's a repeating theme here, doesn't it? And now Jose is here, like, I mean, I thought we could have a night at least here. Patrick can't say no to his dad. I mean, we always have issues because of that. Patrick doesn't seem to be able to say no to his family, in the same way that he's allowed John to gatecrash their trip without warning his wife. He's allowing his dad to do the same too. Now, the issue that Thais has is that he keeps her out of the loop and then just expects her to be okay with it. For right now, the pair are treading relatively calm waters. But between Patrick and his family and Thais and hers, I can already feel all of the drama bubbling under the surface. I think it's only a matter of time before it explodes.